Hello, hello, hello. I am back, you guys. I have gone a bit wandering. This is the first time I have set foot in a scrapbooking store in a year. And I'm fortunate enough to live really close to Frank Garcia studio. So I came over here to meet a friend and of course I had to walk in and I got stuff. So I'll share with that you guys later. But I just wanted to show you, take your tour of the store. And for those of you that can't make it out here, it is so cool. And he does have an online, a website. So I will put it down. I'll tag you down there in the description for it. But I just wanted to show you guys the stuff. There's a few of us in here. Look at the gnomes. I know that's not paper. <laughs> <laughs> but I love gnomes. But it's just a great space. A great space, all kinds of goodies. Just, you know, all kind. Here's like a bunch of Disney stuff. You guys know I'm a Disney fiend, so I did stop here. But I have everything, <laughs> amazingly enough. But all kinds of paper he has over here. Um, this is Memory Place. Just, I just, this place is just, <sighs> I've come to scrapbooking heaven, truly. All kinds of here's more. Um, this is all say cheese, I think. No, it's not. This is, I think, Echo Park. No, simple story. So, what's say cheese? What am I thinking? How do I not know that? I'm a dork. But all kinds of goodies. So, tell you guys, those of you that are live locally enough to his store in Upland, California, you need to come over here. Really, we need to support our stores, keep them open so that they keep us in supplies and in classes. And he does some fabulous classes. I said, this is the first time I've been out, at least to a scrapbooking store. So there's a few of us here, but I just want to take you around and just show you. Just, he just has a ton of stuff, and stuff that it's not easy to find. He carries Stamperia. Oh my gosh, and I love Stamperia stuff. So I did get some. Not a lot. I just got a few sheets. For I saw a project on a YouTube that I specifically want to do. So he had the paper here, so I'm going to do my take on it. So just scads a paper Tim Holtz hello who can say no to Tim Holtz I can't very cool but I was on a limited budget this time because we all know I went nuts on HSN day so I had to show some self-restraint drats I can't remember if I did this bookcase or not I'm not look at his albums guys his projects are just amazing 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 he's just oh, I hate him <laughs> not really but distressing he's got all of them I'll remember that because I'll do online like the rest of you guys but I also want to support the little places too. keep everybody open ton of graphic 45 here and that's one of my favorite papers is G45 I'm all over it here some more of his projects just stunning look at that Christmas one is that just like <sighs> I have to take one of his classes because <laughs> it's not like and here I am an album maker and but oh so beautiful just so much and there's so much stuff here's some little chipboard things mink we have mink stuff here we have I'm pretty sure these are the nouveaus I'm not on yet Nouveau embellishment mousse, so those are local. And paint. He's got mink everything. And over here, just all kinds of mixed media. Look at the Stampendous Deluxe fragments. Those are the mica. Do you remember that? I have a little bit, but not in big jars. Just tons of sparkly stuff. We've got over here metallic acrylic paint. I like this. And then we have more acrylic paint. And oh, look, more acrylic paint. And here are the glass mats, impulse glass mats. I have an, uh, we are memory keepers because I see it all the time in my projects. I love, you guys, if you ever are able to get a glass mat, I cannot highly recommend it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a short person, so I don't catch the stuff up because I don't look up because I'm short. Look at the minks. Look at the pretty pink mink. And I don't do pink. Here, let me knock over a display. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> but just all kinds of we are stuff up here. Okay, now I've done all the tops. So I can go back to looking down. M ton of mixed media. Ton of mixed media stuff. And look, and I forgot to flip through these, but all kinds of Tim Holtz right here. 
So I'm sure he has. I remember that because I love Tim Holtz stencils. So just goo gobs of it. And liquid pearls. So totally good to know. Because he looks like he has every color. Oh my gosh, I really did. And alcohol inks where I can buy the individual colors. Oh my gosh. Because there's a project I want to do. I got to figure out what colors they use. Now I know. So they're $3.99 each. So you know. Oh my gosh. I've got to take inventory and figure out what I need for this project I want to do. So the blending solution. And then a whole bunch of little doodans or gumaflachis as you know I call them. Oh, and downstairs. Let me look down here real quick. Stuff down here. I'm short and I missed that. How could I? The caterpillar. Those are, I have both of these guys. I cannot again recommend that anymore. It's my favorite, my favorite, favorite trimmer. I have, I think, like four of them. Don't ask me why. I just do. <laughs> I'm a hoarder of caterpillars, apparently. Favorite trimmers. We have more stuff over here. Mixed media stamp. Little stamps, just all kinds of goody jobs. Okay, I'll take you guys back to the back to the mixed media wall. We'll finish the wall and then we can go do the tables. Just all kinds of this is the icing paint. So this is the Primas. No, um, yeah, Prima, isn't it? This is Prima stuff. Yes. I'm not as much a mixed media person. I'm trying to be. I'm a wannabe. Glitter. Look at these. Aren't these pretty? I love the colors. I love the bottles. I'd collect them just for the bottles. I swear. And then these are just your basic standard um, supplies. Look, I realize he has Nouveau. I just ordered a bottle from a friend, so I try to support everybody. And then Crystal Glaze, I don't remember that. And I already, I thought I scoured all of these before and I missed that. Hmm. I'm so lame. And look, we have, see, I wasn't ready to have some Copics here. Again, good to know. So I try to support my little people. And then we have snap pandas things, embossing powders. It's all kinds of good stuff. Here's another table display. We've got mo the decor molds, like the resin molds. Paper, look at that piece of paper right there on top. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. But I love it. And see, these are, I'm not a pink person. How many times have you guys not heard me say, I'm not a pink person? And yet I'm seeing pink here. And I didn't fit. I did not flip through these. It's probably a good thing. But see, now it gives me stuff to flip through when I come back. Because I will. And we'll see what other trouble I get into. We have kits down there. And cool bottles that you can do things with. Look at that. Is that not pretty? Simple bottle, a few things, and oh my goodness. So adorable. I do remember that. This is the backside of the gnome display. So we just have some stickers here and whatchamacallit, I'm stamps. I can't speak English. Oh, I didn't see these. But it's also past Christmas, but still. Is that not cute? Well, I have to remember that because we have to start thinking ahead. Maybe for once, you know, start ahead. Here we've got Doodlebug. I love Doodlebug. It's so cute. Pins and the little oh, shaped right. sprinkles. Yeah. What is not to love about Doodlebug, right? Look at the buttons. Are they adorable? And look at, ooh, I really didn't see that. Did you guys see that? The, with the, the gold on it? Ooh. More doodle bug. I just love it. I love doodle. I don't know what it is about them, but I really do love them. I have a bunch at home that I just have sat there and hoarded. Done nothing with it. Anybody else guilty of that? <laughs> My paper hoard knows no bounds. It has no limits. Let's go over here. Anybody a Lawn Fawn fan? <laughs> I've got Lawn Fawn for you. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, I don't know if I could... You want to see all of it, but yeah, he has, and he has just the, the inks as well. Oh my gosh, and there are all, he probably has probably all the distress oxides. I know where they get the ones I'm missing. I thought that would be for the next shopping spree. Because I'm short, remember I told you guys in another video, I think I'm short six. But I have to bring the list so I know. 
And then look at, oh my God, look at that Disney one. Oops. Is that not breathtaking? Oh my God. You probably already thought this is a class and you think that I knew about it. No. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Anyway, let me show you more of the, the, the doodads. Good stuff. I've been going on for 10 minutes here. She, he carries, of course, Prima. Tons of Prima. I bought this. I can't remember if I bought this one. I think I bought the little. No, I bought this one. And then I got some of the loose sheets. So I'll show you guys what I got, what my haul is from here. And you know, I'm going to turn around here and let me do this table real quick. So he has a Sizzix table as well. And I'm going to lay my hands. I did not get this now because he didn't have the dome. So, but like, I did take a picture of that card because, ooh, what my, I must do this. So we will figure it out. I will, I will, I will. I want to see because I think I have some of these, but from um, Jilly, Jilly, Jilly Bean, I think. I can't remember. And now I have to go into my stash, which is why I didn't buy it because I might have it. So when you don't, we're not sure, don't buy it. It will be an excuse to come back, right? Works for me. All kinds of, let me see, down on the floor ones must always look down too. You never know what you're missing. And these tubes of, of more on it. They had this one and I thought about it. I go, no, I'm going to wait. Because I already bought, I'll show you the little, little jar I bought for shakers for Valentine's. Because that's what I'm working on now. I don't know how many cards I'm going to give my husband. <laughs> I'm thinking in start February 1st, maybe he'll get one in his car a day. What do you think? Is that not silly? But what the heck, right? But more, look at these albums up here. Oh my God. They're just so pretty. And I love Prima flowers. Absolutely the best. Nobody does flowers like Prima. And he has more papers. These are, because it's fall themed, but still. Or more Southwest. It's Southwestern. Not necessarily my jam, but it might be somebody else's. In Spanish, we say, pa todo hay gusto. So to each their own. I would say that's the closest English translation I have. More of his just breathtakingly beautiful albums. I wish I could just come up, you know, with stuff like this in my head. Cannot. I have to take a glass. Let's be honest here. My my creativity, you know, has limits. I'm like a, what you call it? Um, what's that bird? The, the one that imitates it's just left my head. But that's the bird I am. I could imitate, but I have a hard time coming up with my own stuff. Look how pretty that is from winter. Just beautiful. And we've got stamp market stamps. If anybody's a stamp market fan, he has a lot of them here. Just a lot. I was flipping through them. So if you like the layered flowers, there you go. More paper. What do we got here? Lawn font, of course. Hello. Am I thinking? And more stuff down here. You can see. And then I'm going to go up here and guess what? More albums. And cards. Look at this. Tell me. Oh, my God. Who do you send this to? But still, I don't know that I, if I made this, I don't know that I like anybody enough or I'm grateful enough to anybody. It's, is that not bad? But look at that. Look at all those layers. That is just, I don't know if it has anything on the inside. Not just plain on the inside, but absolutely a stunning, stunning card. But you know what? It inspires me to try to do something like this. What the heck, right? You could send it in a box. <laughs> Right? Oh my God, there. I really want to get some good. I'll probably come back real quick and take pictures too. Oh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, amazing. And then we have look candles. So there's everything here because I like candles too. More over here. Look at that castle. Look at I'm betting that's an explosion box without a shadow of a doubt. Maybe next time I come here, uh, you know, by then you'll have seen this tour. I'll come back and open some of these things up if they I'll ask for permission. Pretty pretty sure they're on top. So let me pop one open just to show you guys. It's just all kinds of goodies. Wedding paper here. Or like, oh, this is ladies. So I don't know if it's wedding so much, but Oh, look at this. Look at this washi. Isn't that not cute? That's their Easter. I haven't even gotten through Valentine's. I'm not even ready for Easter. I'm not even ready to think about Easter. And I don't know what kind of an Easter we're going to have this year. We're going to have to figure out. We're going to have to do an, a Zoom Easter egg hunt. I'm going to have to figure this out. 
I do have a niece, you know, I have an 11 year old niece that is taller than I am. And I'm five foot one, which is not saying a lot. That child is the Jolly Green Giantess. She's five foot seven and 11 years old. She's very taller than her dad and her, and her mom. Or it's not her, I think her dad's five eight, so. And heels she is. These little boots that she has, she has heels on her. She gets, she's so excited about those boots, it's funny. As I should, look at that, look how beautiful that card is. <sighs> I need to sign up for some classes here. I really do. I have to come. Just, just. I'm just like, I'm, I'm still, you know, you, you hear me always talking about it. I'm still just a little paranoid, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that Rolodex. <gasps> so for all of us that threw out all the Rolodexes, what were we thinking, right? <laughs> look how pretty those are. And little mini discs. How cute are those for the planners? Okay. I'm like, what are those? <laughs> what do you do with them? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, can you tell I'm not necessarily a planner person? I own about four of them. Now ask me what I do with them. You won't go there. I'm going to just decorate the crowd out of them. Because I do have, obviously, because I'm Disney, I do have the Simple Stories Chase Cheese one. Chase, say cheese one. And look, he has a bunch. I'm going to have to show you the spinner. I didn't see these either. Oh, my gosh. Sprinkles, sparklets for every season. So... For the shaker people i'm just going to turn this around hopefully he won't mind Whoop. look at all of these Ooh, if i'd have seen these i probably would have picked those up and i'll see now i can come back and get more and i have an excuse <gasps> look at these i missed these two so i'm gonna have to come back look at that They're, oh i don't know this, i think i'm going back up to the register and getting these these have to leave with me <laughs> I'm incorrigible. Terrible, but look at all of those. Anyway, we have more stuff here. I'm not kidding you. This is an amazing store. I have been here. It's been a long time. Again, it's been a year since I set foot in any scrapbooking stores. Obviously, kits down here. I go in any, so I'm so glad I came on. That was purely to meet up with a friend and I had some stuff for her. And I knew I was here. I was not going to have to step in here. So here I grabbed one of these. I grabbed this one. So I'll show that off in my when I show you my haul. This video alone is taking up a good long time. I may post them as part one and part two. But here we go. We've got wedding theme, the um, truly yours. That is so pretty. And here I am, married two and a half years now, and I still not quite two and a half. I still haven't made my album. <laughs> I've made two as gifts, but not made my own. I am the personification of the cobbler's children go barefoot. Mm -hmm. Scrapbooker has not made her own wedding album. <laughs> but here are a ton, a ton of the sparklets. Just a ton. So he's got everything. Which is great because I love, we all know I love shaker cards. I've been trying not to make shaker cards. So I haven't made a shaker card in a while. So I think I have to make one. Or just a ton of little shaker doodads. So you guys need to get on his website. And look at this. This was so, so pretty. So pretty. It's not my colors. I mean, my wedding is going to be hard to think uh, to scrapbook because it's sunflowers and burlap. I think I'm going to have to go like on Etsy and find digital paper. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do mine because it's not like readily found about acetate. Anybody need acetate? And here's vellum. Just more paper. Sparkly glitter paper. Yummy glitter paper. Really yummy. See, I knew it's best creations. The best glitter paper you can lay your hands on, guys. Need I say more? And this is the discount, the, the bargain basement. And I did get some stuff here. And then we have a bunch of the Prima albums. I love their albums. Very, very, very cool. Totally awesome. I mean, the thing is, this last table, I think I'm almost done here, guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I like that paper. It looks like soccer balls, but heckly, it's sequins. It's sequins. I'm sorry, I was doing a side view. If you look at it, they're sequins. But they look like soccer balls. <laughs> oh, look at the bear. Just totally cool stuff. No box. That's a, I want to say this is a template or to make it it's a, Oh, no, it's the dye. So if you like to make little boxes, it makes a little, obviously it makes almost like a house because those are your windows. 
Oh, here, look. the. Look at that. That's what it makes. Is that not stinking adorable? Look at the other one. Oh my gosh. So cute. We have more paper. Look at that. That's Mintage. Minte? Minte. I was going to call it Minte. No, it is Minte. I don't know. Oh, it is Minte. There we go. But isn't that pretty? Way pretty. Okay, you guys, I have given you the grand tour of Frank's, Frank Garcia's studio. If you live in California, you need to come here. All right? I will sign off for you. Um, as always, you know, take care. Be careful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see another one, please go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so that you see, you'll know when I'm on again. Otherwise, take care again, you guys. And don't forget, scrap the madness. Okay? Bye.